All right, everybody, I'm back out again. Another nice night, low humidity, and it's about 10 o'clock at night. Um, went back to the Whirlpool Galaxy, because last time I went to this one, my DSLR had the noise reduction turned on. So this time I'm trying it with the outlet on and just seeing how these pictures were turning out. I'm going, doing uh, 10 two-minute exposures, and I did the, cap, uh, the guiding calibration, and I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not getting any star trails. All my stars are still round at two minutes, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. It probably does, but uh, I just did the basic mount calibration that PHD2 will do when you hit calibrate, and it seems like it's doing really well. I mean, this star is very faint. I mean, you can't even really see it on the chart, but it's real faint, but that guide camera is doing real good as far as you see the star right here. And that's the peak from it and the bullseye from when I read uh, the red dot is the star itself as the mount moves around and the software will try to get the mount to center that star in the center of the bullseye but it never really happens like that because you get a lot of movement but um it's not too many bad corrections I mean I've come a long ways I know that from starting out and the pole master down here uh, that really makes a big difference. I mean, I'm able to line up real fast into a polar alignment. And Polaris is uh, right there. That's the North Star. So far, it makes alignment a lot, some, I mean, real fast, like maybe five minutes if that. And then you can go ahead on and start messing around with targets. All right, and this little timer right here that uh, releases the shutter. I got nine more photos to take. And this is like one minute and two seconds, gonna be 59 seconds. Shutter still open. And when it gets to zero, it closes and snaps another one. And also I wanted to add that uh, I did rebalance my scope with the counterweights and maybe that made a big difference. I made it a little bit east heavy like everyone's saying, just a tad bit and not too many corrections. Uh, There's still some going on but uh, it's a big learning curve for me. Um, got a long ways to go. I'm still learning. I'm a newbie at this astrophotography stuff. Alright, so far everything's been going pretty well this evening. And my last target of the night was uh, Messier 13. You see right here, that's your 13. And I did uh, 10 two minute exposures. I'm finally down to the last exposure. Great, come up on the last minute for that exposure. And so far, Gotti is still doing pretty good. And we're just gonna see how this cluster comes out because this one looks, hopefully we get some images like this one tonight from this cluster, but we shall see. And as you see from guiding, there's very few corrections being made on the declination. I mean, the RA still has some adjustments, but it's, I mean, some corrections, but it's not a whole lot. I mean, it looks pretty smooth, and this is what the scale is set up like. So it probably has a lot to do with the pole master as far as my polar alignment. And just going with the basic settings on PHD2 as far as uh, setting, getting a guide star and then just forcing the calibration when you hit shift and you click the calibration icon right here and just let it do its thing and going from there.